The following program is intended for mature adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. You have been warned. Welcome back to Flavored Enemy Tales of Vittore. Last we had left off, the Andromeda team had just encountered a series of bizarre individuals. Quincy disappeared and then reappeared moments later having aged. And Drian's not dad, but might be dad, got shot in the head and died again. And as you picked up the, I say picked up, more like ripped out the um, robotic heart of the dad that uh, take a shot in the back of the head, you were wondering how to read whatever the memories are was stored within there. And it was then that a dark elf in black robes stated that he could do it for you. So as we pick up back there, in this dark, eerie night out in the plains lens, in between Douglas and the verdant expanse, what do you all do? Um, uh, uh, Quincy uh, uh, saddles up next, or walks next to this strange figure. Uh, they haven't pulled their gun out, but they kind of have their hand resting on it, and they say, Howdy there, stranger. Mind uh, introdu- uh, introducing yourself? People just usually call me the professor. That and doesn't... that'll suffice for you all as well. For reference, how close he, is he to the fire by me? Hi. He's, he's kind of he's sitting on the log uh, near the fire, kind of keeping his hands warm. Uh, maybe 25 away from you. As soon as I know, notice him, Bulls, where did you come from? You know, you are the fourth mysterious individual that we've had the pleasure of encountering t- uh, tonight. So you say you're the professor? That is correct. What, uh, what, what field of study? I mean, you're a professor or something, right? Yes, I study necromancy. I would whistle. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Not my area expertise. Isn't that the study of dead things? Yep. Nice. And what can we do for you, good professor? Came to offer my assistance, as it seems that you are incapable of figuring out whatever is stored on those devices. Not that I should expect you all to be able to do such things, as you all are young and experienced and, well, lacking in the intelligence department. You are saying a lot of words that are accurate. Uh, I was just about to say that this man was incredibly rude, and, uh, you know, everyone has such a low opinion of themselves. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that, but, I mean, he is kind of right. Uh, no offense, just I'm just curious why we have together. another person showing up at a cop out of thin air. Well, for one, you're not stopping yourselves from being scried upon. I'm just gonna stand up and walk over to him and put her hand out and say... Did you bring the crystal ball or not? Pulls it out from behind his back and hands it. M's gonna walk I, over. Oh. I assume you know how to do that then. Or do you need instruction? You might need help with it. I haven't done any heart viewings before. Maybe. M's gonna look over at Raph and sort of like hold the crystal ball up. You wanna see? God. I like, definitely do. I f- can we, can I like go to bed? I've had, quite frankly, the an longest interesting day. day. Yeah, just a, a bit of an interesting day, Trover. That's a great way of putting it. And you just yeah, sort of appear here, uh, Mister Professor, sir. Um, you know, you have a really great aesthetic. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll give you that. Um, I I love the the blacks on on black. But um, you know, uh, we were we're here. You you appeared here. Uh, you say you want to give instruction, but most things come with a price. So there's nothing more m- nothing more than I want in the world than to be able to take this, than to find some information about someone that I've been yearning for my entire life. But you know, I don't want to necessarily do that from someone that appears uh, on a, in a campfire making fun of our intelligence as people who don't really have a lot of experience. I'll give you that. But like, what, what what is it that you want, Raph? He he's he's wanting to go to gloat. And oh looks yeah, over, I... looks over at you, M. Aurora does, and she kind of like waits 
for you to say something or do something. Yeah, he uh, he likes floating. That's for sure. Wait, um, so you mean he teleported all the way out here just so he could gloat? What a just... pathetic person. How Sounds about like a certain give you that instruction. But, I'm so um, sorry. I'm so sorry that you exist. You guys also think... I think you guys should watch what you say. Who exactly is this professor? Because I've never heard of him. He's one of the people funding our expedition. Oh. Oh. That's great. I mean, you you name like the professor, you know if you want to hurt us, right? Do you know this person personally, Em? I've interacted with him. I'm about to just give you the instruction on how to use that. And I'd be on my way. It Sounds seems great. Like you all would uh, much rather a dilly dally than get this over with. Hey, oh my just God. Uh, write it, write it down here. And <laughs> I, I give him a nice little pen and paper to write it down on. So he writes down the incantation and the somatic movements, charts them out and such, and draws the runes necessary, and hands it back to you. All right. And uh, the sepals just gonna like. Mosey on him like, um, uh, Professor, even though I've personally not had the pleasure of making my acquaintance with you, would you like a, a snack or anything for the road, so, seeing as well, you seem a bit cold, um, do you need anything to keep yourself warm? I'm, I'm sure I can make myself, I can find a way to make a, a warm cup of um, honey with some herbs. I think I'll be fine. Sarceri okay. speaks highly of the expected better of you than to be following along with you. I mean, they Okay, have sir, if you're just going to be rude, time. you can leave. We got the incantation, and you're just being uh, a bit of a dick, so... No offense, I'm technically an idiot, but I'll, everybody else is smarter than me. And with that... Sir, hold on, hold on. There is a swirl of black smoke, and he disappears. All right. Shit! Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> you gotta say something. I'm gonna damn it, guys. Um... But I think you guys should probably go to sleep. <laughs> it's guys gonna are... be a while before I fall asleep. Yeah. So if you guys, else uh, needs to sleep you guys have been up too long. Oh, you guys been real cranky. And I Tig know we've had a day. Tig has fully fucked off to the other end of the campsite. Jesus, if she's not. <laughs> okay. I I, I, just I, gonna... I have to say, Quincy, you you look absolutely dreadful. Yeah. I mean that in the best way. Hey, question. Is oh, Em, do you still have my uh, other gourd? Oh, yeah, yeah. Em's gonna, like, sort of play around with the crystal ball while handing over the gourd back to... Thank you, what did you think of it? It was thick. Well, it's rum, molasses, and bitters. Something called black strap? I don't know. Uh, question, DM. Is, huh? uh... Is Quincy glowing? Uh, he was when he reappeared, but he's not anymore. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go investigate that later. But I'm gonna go walk over to the contraption and start doing the incantations, to opening uh, them yeah. up so I can no, investigate. No, no. You'll need the you'll need the crystal ball that M has. To do I've it. got the crystal oh. ball. And don't you I'll need figured the you were staying heart? With it too. Don't you need the hearts to use with it? Oh, oh yeah. Plus, I mean, plus if. Raf is gonna go to sleep. We don't want to bother we looking into open those his dad's hearts without him. Be oh, I because mean... he might want to look at them. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to Raph if we just looked into his robo dad's memories without. How, how? If everybody's okay, why don't we put the crystal and the heart in a safe place and save it for the morning when we're on the road? I'm, Agreed. I'm we have all had quite the day, as it seems. Keep a hold of it. Tro- Trover takes both gourds and kind of walks five feet from the fire and just sits down and starts looking around. Right. Close my book and I'm just like, all right. Mm. Um, Trover, would you like some warm honey and possibly some ginger and um, other herbs to possibly help you go to sleep eventually? It's not good to just, um, stay up all night. It, it's, it's, I have a very interesting time when I sleep, so I'm going to sleep away from people. Okay, but don't be too far, because we don't want you getting ambushed in the middle of the night without us knowing, do we not? I'm, I'll stay close to too far away, but I'm used to okay. sleeping on the ground, so I can sleep anyway. Okay, good. 
Good. And I guess are we going to cycle through keeping watch and which elf is meditating when? That makes sense. I, I, would, ask, I would like to ask Sipo for some tea. Well, if, I if, don't if, mind taking the moment. first watch with somebody. Oh, of course. So that way, me. if everybody else wants to go ahead and fall asleep, they can. Let's make sure that some whoever's keep we have someone who's keeping watch that can see in the dark. Yeah, I'm gonna, be, I can I'm see in the easier. dark, so I don't mind watching with somebody. Like I said, I can do the first watch. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna find four hours at some point in the night to just transfer a little bit, and then I'll be up again. <laughs> so, so somewhere around midnight to like you know four in the morning, I'll be zonked out, but then I'm gonna be right back up. Yeah, I, just... I could take the first shift with Trover because I was gonna look at the body and study it a little bit more, see what I could, what else I can learn about it. Okay. I'll take the second shift, then I'll meditate during the first. As you guys are kind of figuring out who's taking what shifts and whatnot, you realize that Glisse is just gone. Wait, where did Glisse go? Wait, oh, Glisse is right here. Just right. Glisse is just with us. Did did the mystery man? Each one of you, I would like for each one of you to give me a survival check, please. Okay. All right. Oof, I'm dead. Uh, I crit. I got a nat 20 for a oh. total of 20. Got a 23. Uh, Raph, Raph uh, pretty quickly you find... Pr pretty quickly, Raph, you find tracks. Uh, it looks like someone was drug out from a little, like, outcropping the of the, the plains lens. Um, like, where, where it kind of dipped down into a small valley near, near a river. Someone was drug through the mud across the river towards... The verdant expanse. Hey, um, y'all, can you come here real quick? Trover, uh, and bowls over. What's going on? Um, I See found him. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best when it comes to tracking and things like that. Um, but it looks like someone was dragged, um, all the way sort of down into this, away from camp towards the, in the, towards the plainslands. The, I think that's the direction of the verdant expanse. I mean, wh wh who? Where it could it be? Is it Glisse? Is Glisse in trouble? Do we need to go help? You need to go help him? I, I honestly don't know, but at this time, most of us are probably worn out. We I can think try we should move yet. For them in the morning. That's yeah. The really? I can say. I I know you're worried, but you're tired. You need to sleep. Yeah, I'm tired, but someone could be in danger. Is that is that really what we want to do? Not What's exactly. So I'm not exactly enthused to go wandering yeah. around the dark either. It's probably we, better during the daytime. Yeah, and we are not currently in a shape where we could help, you say, sufficiently. If we go out now, we're all really tired, we all really want to break. If anything, more danger can come to the rest of the party if we try to go on this little adventure now. Okay. As much I, as it pains to say that, because I, 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 I do know this I, I'm, I'm sorry, Sipa, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I do have something that might help. Um, I was saving them for a bit more, you know, uh, I guess, not like this is an emergency, um, but she kind of pulls out uh, from a pack behind her back a couple of berries, um, and uh, like, uh, Sipo, you actually recognize these berries as they are from a plant that grows in the arborant, that eating one berry can negate the need for an entire full night's sleep, but you suffer a level of exhaustion after the effects have worn off. Um, uh, uh and she was just kind of dumbfounded, like, uh, where, where did you get those? Um, well, uh, my, my mother and I went and gathered some supplies for the, the, the journey. I thought these... Fascinating. Well, um, DM, um, can you remind me of the name of the character who presented these berries? Rain. Aurora. Aurora. Like, um, okay, uh, Aurora, how many of these, uh, berries do you have? Uh, I have ten. Convenient. Very convenient. Um, guys, what do you think? Because if we do suffer level of exhaustion, if something were to happen after this adventure, that would put us at a more risky situation. Yes, and there's no, there's no telling if we would even catch up to them. Uh, I think we should just stay put for now. It's better for us to stay and become better prepared than just to wander in blindly. Plus, who knows, there might be an ambush waiting for us if we do follow tonight. 
Um, oh, and for those berries, we could probably save them for later in a time that we need to stay awake for a long extended period of time. Uh, um, well, uh, with my 23 in survival, does it look like there was any kind of a struggle with these drag marks or just like drag marks? It it does not look like there was a struggle at all. It literally looks like Glisse was tipped over backwards and drug away. Uh, um, yeah. Aurora, and, nothing tripped your alarm, did it? No, n- nothing. And it 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 would only it would only be the case if it was somebody. Uh, there's a couple things that it could be, but the the main thing it could if Glisse welcomed them. In, and it does not trigger the alarm. But no offense, why would Glisse want to invite somebody random in just to have them drag Glisse away? Well, the other option is somebody who was able to avoid my types of detection magic, and that would be really bad. The professor just magically showed up. Did you fair. get a warning from that? The professor also uh, said no. that we were being scribed upon, potentially. That we weren't protecting ourselves from being scribed. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. The professor was scrying on us. Oh! That's how he found us. Okay, alright, alright. Because he's a okay. dick. Alright. Okay, alright, alright. What a okay. fucking shit. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. Let, 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 let's all get some sleep. Raph, go ahead and lay down. Me I think and Ghost can the take right the first choice. watch. Is uh, anyone? I can also take a second watch if you, y'all I'll want be me to. We'll let you no, rest. No. I know M said they were I'll take second. All right. All right. Who's okay. Take it with M so that we know who to wake up. M, uh, I, I, I could take it with you if you'd like. That would be wonderful, Aurora. Uh, well, I'll take it, one of the last watches. I'll wake up M. Ghost, if you don't mind, you can wake up Aurora. That way we can yep. kind of disperse who wakes up who. I'll take last watch with uh, Quincy. So, Raph, you asked for some tea, you know? Would you like me to put some chamomile in so you can... I, th- I think e- uh, Ephraim was the one asking for some tea. But oh, besides, tea. I, w- I wouldn't yeah. be able to taste it. I oh, think everybody fine. should have tea. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to add um, some chamomile in for those who aren't taking watch. Just so you guys R- can... Raph, I have a question. Hmm. Okay. Do you think some of that blood we got you would help you sleep? Uh, the pig's blood. Um, I yeah. mean, yeah, Do you yeah, think that sure. might help you try to get some sleep? Yeah, well, I think that's, that's, a, sleep, that's try, a good idea. Try to drink some and see if that helps you rest a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, I had I had a lot of blood today. Um, yeah, he's, mo- most he's I've been had in a long pretty... time. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. I'll, I'll do a little good. sip for to take the edge off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, do, you, do you need help? Do you need help, Beth? Nah, I, th- I think I think I'm good. I just I need to. I need to rest. Well, I just I want to make sure that we're we're up early enough in the morning so that we can, you know, go and find our missing companion. Uh, yeah. Thank you for offering, though. Um, yeah. And Aurora kind of just goes and grabs a seat by the fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna, sort of. I think Raph goes to, or I go to the um, to get a little bit of pig's blood, um, and. Uh, I I want to like drink just a little bit of it and then sort of settle down, uh, sort of near the fire and just fall asleep. All right. So that'll if anyone if, is there anyone else that's doing anything else before watch? Um. Yeah, there is something uh, Quincy would like to do, or two things he would like to do before he uh, settles down for bed. Um, okay. The first thing is that he goes over to Apple, who who I imagine he has like pulled all the reins and saddle off of earlier. Um, and he pulls, uh, he reaches into one of the saddlebags and, uh, pulls out a horse blanket and kind of drapes it over her and says, Hey girl, I know you'd wait here for me. And, uh, uh, Apple recognizes this as the blanket that, um, Quincy always puts over her at night because she always gets strangely cold at night and Quincy sees to his horse. Um, Apple kind of just whinnies at you sweetly. Um, and then before he finally goes to bed, he's gonna go over to the little shrine of the Whisper. Um, uh, it, it's like a little stone. I'm imagining like a Jizo statue, sort of, if yeah, you know what that of. looks like. Yeah, okay. kind of. Um, so he's going to kneel down in front of it 
and begin to pray. And he's like, uh, he says quietly so he doesn't bother the rest of the group. Um, uh, uh, Quincy, uh, well, he takes 10 gold and puts it on the statue as like an offering. And then he says, I know you prefer incense and things like that, but be a while before I'll be in town. I, I need your help. I, I don't ask for me, and normally I'm not very selfish, but I need you to watch over Joe, because I can't right now. And, and my father, I don't know if he's dead or lost wandering in the desert, but if he is alive, it would be too much trouble to watch over him, too. I, I'm begging you. And Quincy, for probably the first time in his life, he bows all the way forehead to the ground in a gesture he has never done to anyone, not even the noble. You don't feel insanely different. You kind of lift your head back up and realize that your tangled pieces is gone. And now there's just a small lock of dark black hair. Do, do I recognize this hair? You do. Is this, is this Jolene's hair or... Yes, it is. I, I can tell from her pomegranate. Um, he's... Uh, Quincy will, um... I, I guess find something to tie up the lock and then kind of hold it to his chest for a moment and say, Thank you. I know this, this is a bit of a weird gift, but I uh, thank you. And then Quincy goes off to bed. Um, before Quincy heads off, he was going to chime up and be like, Um... Quincy, I didn't want to interrupt your little, uh, prayer, um, but... Uh, if, thank you, Seeple. If need be, next time you wish to make an offering, my bees do make something called propolis. Um, is, uh, DM, propolis is like a specific kind of bee puke that smells really nice and can be used as an incense. Oh, uh... Can I... <laughs> Thanks, uh, the whisper, here's some bee vomit. <laughs> <laughs> And um, she was going to be like, this if burn smells really nice and it's a prized uh, resource that many beekeepers are able to have access to. DM, is all of this okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, um, that, so, that uh, is wonderful, Seeple. I, I thank you for the offer. Uh, I, I just didn't want to bother anybody with the... Uh... I, I, I understand. It was a very private moment, which is why I chose not to disturb you, but if ever you need to make another um, ritual or ceremony prayer or anything, just let me know and I can give some of the polis to you, okay? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, DM, do I know if, like, that would be an acceptable, or is, is that something that the Whisper would actually take as an offering, or is it, like, so... The Whisper is very different when it comes to offerings and such. The Whisper prizes offerings of adventure and such. So like a bit of rope or a, uh, a python or a climbing gear or stuff like that. Where it's like it's... things that are necessary for adventures it's because it's, it's, heavily, it's heavily thought that... Uh, the whisper actually rotates the things that are left on her altar oh. to other altars so that okay. people who are adventurers can actually be able to gather up the things that they need at the spots. Okay, all right. And uh, and to be fair, Quincy did earn that money through a strange adventure uh, he just had. Uh, uh, I guess Quincy will just kind of try to go to sleep thinking about maybe Jolene left her hair on an altar or something for him? Like, before we sleep, uh, Tig is fucked off away from everyone. Um, uh, Tig is going to, uh, take the Abyssal book that she got from, and tab everywhere in that book where Va Rodesh comes up. I'm gonna sit down and I'm actually gonna sit there with the crystal ball sort of like balanced on my fingertips with me looking at it while I go into my elf four hour meditation. Like a fushigi? Sort of, just kind of like, yeah, yeah, like a contact juggling ball, exactly. Um, DM, if I may, if I'm taking too much um, limelight, do let me know. Um, but Sifu's gonna go over to take and be, and like, go over there. 
Um, take, would you, would you like some tea? Thanks, Seepal. That's very kind of you. No problem. Um, is everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. Uh, okay. I appreciate the tea. Thank you. I'm here if you need me. Um, sweet dreams. And with that, Seepal's, um, gonna go over, make sure everyone's okay, and then, uh, uh, let the bees just kind of rest in their head. Um, and they go to sleep. During, like, the whole four hours I'm awake and witnessing everything, I've been writing an entire chronicle of the events inside of a diary that, uh, keeping compiled. Yeah. Every okay. single detail of every what I've seen everybody do today. I just okay. close it up and pack it away. Okay. I'm going to drag the robot body closer to the fire so I can see it better. I give you a hand. Bless you, Trover. Bless you. <laughs> Different. As you close the book, you realize that you're writing on like the eighth or ninth page, not the first page. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I thought. <clears throat> Okay. <sighs> Keep journals. Always important. Hey, that's a robot body. I'm gonna look at that whenever I get up. Okay. Um, so, and that'll bring us over to the first watch. So, who's on first watch? That would be me. And me. And while Goose looks at the body, Trover's kind of doing weird movements, circling everybody, swaying as he goes, just keeping an eye out back towards the fire, just slowly encircling, moving his hands forward as well as his feet, but kind of staying in, in the same place, just slowly going around the circle of the campfire. Okay. And as you're kind of circling around, you see yellow dots off the edge of the tree, like floating, hovering five, six feet above the ground, not moving. Um, there. Ghost! I have a quick question. Yeah, what's up, Trover? And I kind of look up from the body. See those yellow lights over there? And I point in the direction. You want me to make a perception check? No, I mean, about, uh, about a quarter mile away, you can see faint yellow pinprick lights floating maybe five, six feet above the ground. Um, yeah, I see the lights. We should be careful. I'll make sure to write the... We need to write that down and make sure we pass it on to the next people because I might forget. That's understandable. And I pull out my uh, notebook and I write down about the yellow floating lights. In, in the time that it took you to do that, you look up and what was once four lights, there is now eight. I think they're multiplying. Um, with it being the verdant response, it, it may be a waste, but I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And I, I stop where I, where I can keep an eye on it, and, but still able to look around and see around as well. I'm gonna yeah, pull I mean, out a dagger and stealth as well. So as you're doing this, you both feel your heads kind of ache and pound as you look back up and for a second there you you thought that you you thought that you weren't only a quarter of a mile away from the edge of the verdant expanse. You thought for a second that you were just outside the city. But no, 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 it doesn't make any sense. You definitely made it all the way past the other cities of Avandra and were only a quarter mile outside of the, the Verdant ex Expanse. As you both kind of have this pounding headache. I, I look at Ghost. Do you also have a weird... A headache? Like, we somehow... Are we closer than we once were? Or am I just thinking that and Trover's like swaying and... Hit. Uh, I'm swaying in the spot, trying to get a grasp on everything that's happened. We we might be. Um, I do have the headache as well. And uh, DM, can I roll a perception check to see how close the like if the campfire moved at all? Uh, no, the campfire hasn't moved. Um, something's not right here. It, is Ifrin still awake? And I start looking around to see if Ifrin is awake. Yeah, I would be awake. I'd probably just be looking at my book. Hey friend, or, or the robot. Do, do, do you have a, a headache? And does it seem like we're closer in stance than we were? I take a look around. You see the faint green bluish glow just kind of wisping around. Can I roll an arcana to sure. try to determine what uh what yeah, might cause in these lights? Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, that is a twenty-four. 
So mm. what you're seeing is definitely temporal interference. But not the kind that you've seen before. Not from the thing that did it last time. No, nope, this is different. And I'm going to take out one of the glass jars I have, and I'm going to try and catch one. The green, bluish, wispy energy? Yeah. I'm going to try and okay. catch of it in a jar. Ifrit, I think it's best if we leave that alone. We don't know what it is. It, you it, can't see it. it, it you guys all, you see, all, all you see is Ifrin just trying to put air in a jar. Uh, well, Ifrin, what do you... I'm pretty sure he's tired because it looks yeah. like he's trying to catch air. We should hey, let hey him guys. be. Hey guys, there's there's confusing things happening. Yeah, we're really we, you we don't know. say. You're trying to catch <laughs> air for heaven's sakes. Yeah, I mean that's you guys weird. To anything else that's weird? Those glowing yellow balls over there, about five feet from the ground. And I point at the lights again. There are so now over sixteen of them. Trover can see them? The, the, the glowing yellow lights have multiplied now. They're 16. That's great. Yeah, they started at 4. How, what, what is going on, Ifrin? Do you know? Can, can you help us here? So this is some sort of energy I have not seen before. Uh, but it is relative. Um, I'm trying to figure it out right now. But it looks like there's like a lot of bugs. That is for sure. Uh, did I catch anything in the jar? Does it look like a bug? No, it looks like just like a swirling green and blue energy. Ooh, I'm keeping this. I'm gonna put it, uh, do I see the yellow dots they're talking about or is it just, is you it do. the same as this energy? You do, they're, they are very different. Uh, this is, this looks like, like actual yellow lights in, in the free line, about six to five feet above the ground. And there are about 16 of them right now. Oh, hey, those are eyes. I kind of figured that, but what kind? Uh, probably some sort of beast. Hey, guys. The only thing I know of in this area is fun liz lizards, but I don't think there will be that many in a group. Yeah, but there's also a lot of us around. Who knows? We should... Maybe we disturb something. Hey, everybody, you guys should wake up. So I was like, wait, what? what's, what's going on? Is everything I, okay? I start... Gently shaking people to wake them up. There's fl 16 floating eyeballs. We may have company. In the trees. Are they doing anything? Are they doing anything? They're multiplying. Do they look, uh, do they look kind of like, uh, beast eyes? Or do they look like, uh... It's too, it's too far away to tell. Mm. Well, we had a way to see. Uh... If they're mm. not doing anything, just go back to sleep. I'm sure they're just, you know... All right, well, I, I stop waking people up and go back to, to look at the eyeballs. All right. Keep a good watch on them. I start looking around uh, towards other things, but I kind of want to focus a little bit more attention on the on the wispy energy. Where's it Where's it mainly coming from? It's like floating around in the air, but you notice it's starting to dissipate. What is this? And a few more hours pass, and yep. the yellow dots keep multiplying and now there's over 40 of them um as you guys near the end of your first watch this isn't good trover all we can do is keep i hate to make the pun eyes on them let's wake up M and tig if i remember correctly and let them know i'll stay here and keep an eye on them again pardon the pun so you can wake them up and see if they multiply. Yeah, they've been multiplying. Or, is, like, is it Aim? Time. I, oh, you don't remember who the next people are? I know it's Aim, but I don't remember. It's Em and Aurora. I got it, don't okay, worry. Thank you. And I just sit there and stare at the eyes, making sure they don't change places. Um, I walk over to M first and gently shake her awake. I can, uh... Do I have... I, no, I don't have that spell. Got that sort of like look up it's time already yeah just uh be careful because there's i guess eyes that are continuously multiplying they started at four went to eight sixteen and now you there's from the other side of the camp yeah they're staring at us it's quite creepy <laughs> i'm gonna stand up and put the crystal ball away in a pouch somewhere and sort of walk over and stare at the eyes 
And then like... I go wake up Aurora. Sorry, Anne. That's all right. Are we sure they're eyes and not just like wisps? That are sitting about five to six feet from the ground, so we don't know. We can't tell from this distance, but also random question. Do you have a headache? Because it seems we're closer to the third expanse than we once were. Do I notice that we're closer? Mm, no, you're definitely where you're supposed to be, right outside the city. Right, so, right outside Rodan Expanse. No, oh, but weren't we heading towards, um... No, as far as you remember, you were just outside the Rodan Expanse. Oh, okay, yeah. No, um... No. It seems... No. This is, we're right. This is... I look up. No, we were closer to the switch. I look through I my swear. book. I look through my book. We should have. We should have been, like, at least, uh... A little bit into the forest, right? Or like right at the begin front of the forest? I mean, we were gonna go to Alabaster or something, but no, or this is where we ended, we guys. This is this is where we set up camp. Yeah. I don't see why you think we're. I, I don't know. I just have this weird feeling we're closer. closer than we were. Um, I don't think so. Maybe you guys need to go to bed. I mean, it, it's gonna be a while before green. I go to sleep because I, I wouldn't want to bother the people. I um, would walk off about five feet away and just sit down and s fall back on my back and stare at the sky with my eyes. Open. Is is Trover looking a little glowy? No, no. Okay, I uh, kind of find a find a spot kind of close to where the tea was and. Uh, I, I begin my trance. How far away are the eyeballs? About a quarter mile. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look at Aurora and be like, you don't happen to have any something so you can, like, look over there? Well, um, I, I could conjure an unseen. As long as that doesn't hinder anything for us going into the expanse. The like downside is, is that is that it, it, it can't can't tell me what he sees or anything like that. He could, if it is something not dangerous, he could bring it back. But I don't have anything that could help this far away. Uh, no offense, Aurora. If it's magical and it's a fern lizard, it'll eat it. Well, how big are fern lizards? Uh, Gulp was pretty decently big sized. He was bigger than me. But, well, uh, I'm currently now standing next to you. Yeah, he, he, and I'm looking down my at you. <laughs> trying my best to describe what Gulp looked like. Sort of like moving my hand just over your head to try and get like a size feel. Oh, I'm doing the same thing. Just <laughs> hmm. going like, this is how big he was. This is what he looked like. And then I let it slip. He... Also, when I first met him, he started licking me and I passed out. I don't know it. I don't know much about fern lizards. I I haven't really left the dark hills much. Well, this is the first one I've met in a while. Like, um, close to me, the other ones I've seen far away, Norm, and this was on my trip to go to the merchant to get all the supplies we needed. Now, hmm. Well, they aren't approaching. I, I just say we need to keep an eye on them. Yep, just yep. in case, because I don't want us to be, and excuse my language, bum-rushed. I, I think you're right. We'll just keep an eye out. Well, I might go ahead and go lay down. You and do I walk that. off, and as soon as I sit down, I pass up and start giggling a little bit in my sleep. I'm gonna look over at Aurora and be like, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Oh, oh, how's, uh, how's Spokestot? It's, it's been a while since. It's, uh, it's rowdy as ever, really. Uh, Necrodome's still kicking it. Uh, Fergus uh, keeps getting some new cool things in the chop shop. Oh, it's the same old, same old. Oh, I did kill a manticore in the Necrodome. It was fun. Quick and right, right. Um, As you can yes. tell, she's actually actively holding back tears right now. Yeah, um, I forgot that you, um... Cadmus okay, is um, still trying to catch the blobfish at the estate pond. Is, um, is, uh, Argenti, um, 
still running the trinkets of time? I haven't been over there for a while, but last time I was there they were. Have you been there before? Uh, uh, yes. I, I bought this there on my last trip. And she pulls out, like, uh, from around her neck, like a necklace. And you can see that it's just got this weird silvery filigree on it that has a, a heart that's kind of, like, wrapped in vine. I'm gonna sort of reach out and, like, sort of, like, hold it between my finger and my thumb. And Now, if I recall correctly, Mr. Argenti really loves to deal in cursed objects. Oh, uh, yes, but... <laughs> This one, this, this one doesn't. Are you sure you're gonna trust a ghost? Of course. I mean, I, you know, I, 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 I trust, I trust you all. I, I, I trust just Rath. You all are good people. So is Mr. Argent. Now, what does this one do though? Because he really doesn't deal in just. They, they hear <laughs> coming from Trooper. Well, he doesn't um, deal in simple items. No, 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 no. no. Um, it's uh. It illuminates people that are important to your future. Does it illuminate the people? Uh, just a, like a small around. That only you then. can see, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna have a sudden... Uh, can I roll... Because I have no idea about relationships. Uh, can I roll insight to see if I realize that maybe she sees an aura around Raph? Go ahead and insight check. Oh, 22. Oh, absolutely. And she is trying really hard not to say that. I'm just gonna um, look Aurora dead in the eyes and then go, Oh. Oh, no, 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 Is this, like, I'm gonna sort of, like, lean in and be like, I'm not really good with people or relationships. Um, how do you go about interacting with someone? In me, I've been struggling now. For, no, no, I'm fine. No, nothing. No, nothing. Worse advice than my dad would give me. So, those. Uh, well, if uh, if I were you, and I were in a situation where I was wanting a date with someone, well, I would I would go up to them firmly and tell them how I feel and uh, await their response. Um. Can I roll on that one for insight too to see if she's completely just like bullshitting? Uh, yeah, you could roll insight. Uh, 13. Uh, you feel like this is the advice that she's trying to give herself as well as you. Sort of gonna look at her as like, okay, okay. Let's start a little further back. How do you make friends? Um, well. That aren't made you, for you. You're kind of doing that right now. You know, you and I are hanging out, getting to know each other a little more, spending time with one another through doing that more often and more often, eventually, you know, you hit a comfortability with that person where you are friends. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to sort of sit back up, right? Can I look out at the eyes? Yeah, there is now, blood? there are now over 80 of them. I'm going to kind of, hmm, hmm, that's not. Aurora, that's not good, is it? Well, they, don't, they haven't left the tree line, right? No, that's, yeah. They haven't, they haven't attacked us, it done is... anything wrong. That's a lot of eyes looking at us. Maybe we're near the edge of their kingdom, and they are guards, and they are worried about us being out by the edge of their kingdom. Maybe. I have to um... say, I, I, I kind of fell asleep during my mother's lectures about so I don't remember if there's a kingdom there. DM, would I maybe know just from my family's background? Yeah, sure. Make a history check. 21? Uh, yes, actually. There is a very large tribe of Yanti that call that area of the Verdant Expanse home. Oh, Yanti? Yeah, which are a, sna a snake-like people. Snursens, if you will. Snursens? <laughs> Nursons. All right. And I'm going to get kind of like quiet and look over to Aurora and be like, well, my maybe new friend. Oh, I'm, I'm your friend. We're, we're friends uh, here. Um, 
Do you remember anything about the Yan Ti? Uh, I I think I remember my my mother telling me that they ritualistic sacrifice prayed to the serpents in the old way. They don't believe in any of the gods. That's for one. Um, sorry, they what? They don't believe in any of the gods. They think that they're just fancy mortals with more power, but they're not I mean, gods like the snakes, the serpents, yes, and the demons. In a sense, but um, if we're uh, M's gonna sort of like scribble in the dirt a little bit of a map. Be like, if we're if we're um here, their kingdom is uh right here. Uh, and my yeah. hand isn't gonna move very far. That that that, that, that does make sense. Um. So that must be what those eyes are. Of things that make ritualistic sacrifices. Mm-hmm. We've uh, hit the same thought processes. Well, I they still haven't come... You know, maybe, maybe they've already hit their quota. For- they have daily quotas? I don't know. I don't know the logistics of sacrifices and such. Oh, I'm just... Uh, I'm just... Uh... No, I've read a few books and uh, in, in I mean, libraries the, the, in the house uh, in the estate, I mean, and uh, the, the the necrodome is a is a sacrifice place, right? Uh, how many times I do mean, they do that? Uh, <laughs> do you really want me to answer that? No, I don't actually. Thank you. Okay, um, but then none. It's 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 Seeple's favorite place. It's so nice. It's so great. Everything's alive there. No bloodshed. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, uh. Now about uh. When do we decide to wake people up? Well, they still need to sleep. Otherwise, this whole resting thing was for nothing. Um. I was in trance I, for four hours. Um. I, I say we we. My friends in trance. Focus, yeah. focus more intently, and make sure that they don't move any further towards us and. If they do, then we wake everybody up and run. Good plan. Mm-hmm. I am not going to turn my head ever again away from the eyeballs. You notice and I just the, I- the eyeballs don't multiply anymore um, as you guys round out the rest of your watch uh, as it comes to an end. Are you ready to wake up the next for their, the last watch? All right. Uh, Aurora. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You keep your eyes on those eyes. I'm gonna wake the other people up. Uh, sure. sure. I, I've got it. Great. And then M's going to go wake up. Uh, who are the next people? I think it's Pig and Seeple? Quincy and Seeple. Quincy and Seeple, thank you. Man, Tig's just taking this whole sleep. Good on you. <laughs> I don't have dark vision. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Okay, well, neither do go- I. Well, yeah, I don't have dark vision either. <laughs> well, then you can kick me I. awake if you want me. Well, That's then fine. I guess I should stay awake with you guys, but I'm just sort of gonna go and like nudge Quincy with my foot, and then sort of go over to Seepole and I don't know, touch her bark. I don't know how to wake. A <gasps> how dare you touch a person's bark without asking? It's not a person. The consent is sexy, you know. Yes, consent is sexy, but I don't know how to wake you up without touching your bark. It's everywhere. I can't bl- Next, you're going to be holding hands with me. That's lewd. You're barking up the wrong tree, Em. Um. I'm going to... Oh, my God. I'm going <laughs> to hold hands with Ifrin because I can walk away from him while still holding hands. <laughs> His hand comes off. It's wow. beauty. Yeah, my arm just detaches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <take it away. laughs> because I can keep holding uh, his hand and walk right. away. <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I need that back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wake up Quincy. I'm gonna wake up Seeple. I've already said I've touched her uh, bark, so right. there we go. Um. <laughs> so Quincy's gonna see me just, like, awkwardly touching the tree. <laughs> Quincy is going to blush in embarrassment. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> uh, Seeple? Seeple. Yeah, Seeple's just gonna slowly open their eyes. No, no. Oh, hi, Anne. Uh, Take my hands back. Is everything okay? What's going on? I think it's your turn for watch, but uh, both both of you guys, um, if you look over yonder, 
and M's just gonna like finger guns over towards the eighty eyeballs. Uh, uh, DM. Uh, we, I think you mentioned briefly that Quincy traveled at least near this place before. Does he know anything right. about this? Um, strictly kind of the same info. The fact that the the Yanti uh, have a small tribe that lives in that part of the Verdant Expanse. And uh, there's been there's been many adventurers who have gone seeking a golden ziggurat, which is at the center of their uh, tribal kingdom. And it is supposedly everything within the ziggurat and the ziggurat itself is made out of solid gold. Uh, it's never much for treasure seeking myself. Um, do do I know if they've been known to be like reasoned with? Like, so long as you don't mess with the ziggurat or try to know stomp through like you own the place that they'll just kind of mm-hmm. let you huh the, the main thing is that they're very very territorial so, and they do they do as you do know as well that they do do ritual sacrifices to the serpents Ooh. um and, and glisse was seemingly dragged in that direction uh, dm your mic is muted sorry yeah, uh, yeah, she was seemingly dragged in that direction. It's not good at all. Um, uh, well, I don't think they'd still be looking at us necessarily if this is a difficult situation. Uh, I guess we just keep on watching. Now here's the trick. If we all look away, the eyes multiply. I'm not interested in doing that. Uh, uh... Um, Aurora, you get rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll lay down. And you notice that she eyes the spot next to Rap real quick, and then nods her head and walks to the other side. Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah, she's Em's just, like, trying to figure it out. Em, she doesn't understand either. It... It's the blind leading the blind in this situation. Uh, uh, I debate about telling about the aura and the glow, but I, I uh, hold back because Quin- friends keep secrets. Quincy seems to already have put together what it is you're talking about. Um, uh, Quincy, uh, he will keep an eye on the eyes, um, but while he's doing so... He will take out the journal that Jolene gave him, and he will write down everything that's happened to him, and he will write it in a way as if he is speaking to Jolene, because he does not keep any secrets from her, Um, even the very painful thing that happened. You open it up, and you go to to write in it, and you realize that there is an entry dated third of green edge the year 421 the age of shards the future oh what does it say it says we're deep in the jungle now hiding in the hollowed out husk of a tree I'm not sure what happened to ifrin or raf haven't seen them since yesterday jig and i are running low on rations i'm not sure what we're going to do next i really could use your insight your brains on this hoping you're well love quincy and it's my handwriting it is I I look back. Are there pr- uh, entries prior to this? You see, the next page is, is dated the 33rd of Firebreak. And it's basically everything Quincy was just going to sit down and write. Yes, that is correct. And and I realize this is strange, right? Like Yes. As you kind of try to, try to rationalize whatever this is, you feel this immense pounding in. Your eyes start to refocus, and you are staring at a blank, empty first page of your book. And the other pages are gone? Yep. Um, Seville's going to notice Quincy, like, wins and something like, Qu- Qu- Quincy, what, what's going on? Is, is everything there, okay? Uh, um, something, something weird's going on. There's kind of, some, there's something wrong with time here. I just saw a journal entry written by myself that... I don't remember writing, dated in the future. I, I see, and um, what, 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 what was the contents of this journal entry? Um, that we were lost in the jungle. 
that we lost Ifrin, or we got separated from Ifrin, and... I see. Well, as far as time's concerned, you did just time travel into the future, spent a good few years, and came back, so uh, I can imagine that would cause time... Yeah, yeah. ...to be quite different. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely need to talk to Ifrin about, because, um, yeah, time is... Is something wrong with Yorman? Mm. Um, what is this Jormungandr? I, I don't uh, believe I've traveled there. Uh, Jormungandr, he's the, he's the serpent that watches over time. Uh, I met him. He's a real affable guy. I gave him a hug, even. Nice. Well, I'm sure, um, seeing as you, you and Jormungandr are on such great terms, I'm sure we'll be able to check on him at some point in the future. Uh. But right now, let's focus on those eyes in the distance. Y yeah. Um... Uh, yes, I will. Um, and Quincy will, I guess, write his first entry about everything that's happened to him. That there's some weird time stuff going on, so... That he doesn't understand, and... And yeah, he, he shares almost the exact same sentiments as that weird post of, like, I wish you were here because you're so much smarter than me, and you would probably have figured this out by now. Okay. Um, and... And he does include the very painful, um, happened at the top of the tower with the other Jolene. Even as it physically hurts him to write what happened. Even if he explains that he was mind-controlled, it doesn't hurt any less. I'd like for you and Seeple to give me a perception. Uh, percepts? 24. 7. Sorry. That's a nut 20 as well. Oh! <laughs> Seeple, you see a streak of red zip from the for from the jungle through the sky. Um, Quincy? And as you see it coming down, you're able to see it is it is an arrow on fire, and it's headed straight for the wagon. Uh, Can I block the arrow with something? Do I have enough of a reaction? Or would, I, would that have to be you, a reaction? You, 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 you can, you can ha anyone, anything you want for a reaction. And does it have to be considered a reaction, or, or can it be something? Uh, yes, it, it has to be a reaction in this instance. I'll have a look at something. Hold on. I don't have anything for a reaction. Um, you um, see the arrow. You see the arrow thud right into the wagon as the wagon catches fire. Oh! Oh! Dang it! Uh, Quincy will uh quickly um rush over to the barrel of water we got. Um, get like a cup and splash some of the water onto the. Fire. All right, why don't you give me a survival check? Eight. Uh, Seeple, wake everyone up. On it, and I just go around rushing. Um, and, guys, wake up! Wagons on fire! Wagons on fire! Uh, everyone, everyone except except for the elves, you all got a short rest. Um, elves, you guys got your long rest, and those who require only four hours. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, this is the last shift, so Quincy did his whole eight hours. Yeah, you you got yours. Yeah. Nice. Um, As did. Probably also got her eight hours because she never did a shift. Oh. Ghost yeah, also hey. did his. Ghost and Trover, I think, got theirs as well since I we were the first I'm, shift. I'm pretty sure everyone would be good except for Aurora. Aurora. Yeah. Except for Aurora. Poor Aurora. What is going on? She made her choice. Get, get, uh, get the horses ready. We're heading out. You're like, well, I just. What's happening? Dad, it's guys, too early for this. The wagon's no. on fire. Get, the wagon's on yeah, fire. Get up. You need to help. I, I'm I just currently yeah, putting on, fire. on the I'm just wagon. gonna go over and try and help put the fire out. I'm, I'm just yeah, standing there peeing on the wagon. Going, I'm putting it out. That's, that, that's not got it. Grover, you're like Grover. That's not helpful. You're like three <laughs> feet tall. The fire is above you. How would that work? I'm DM, drunk. DM, <laughs> can I make a survival, a survival check? check? Yeah, please, man. Can I um, see if those eyes are gonna do one yeah, too? I got uh, one better. I got nine. DM, can I can I get uh, M the I, help action? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. I can't get everyone at once. <laughs> sorry. Seepal, what are you doing? Rain cloud, druid craft. Because this is uh, let's predict the weather. Oh, does that mean? Can you snuff out fire? Can I yeah, make... not... Dang it! Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to do that for this instance. Uh, I rolled a 16 for survival. I can do a puff right. of wind. Would that be enough to... to... No, because it, it's already spreading pretty it. decently. Mm. That would probably make it bigger. Uh, Trover, you got 16 in the survival check? 
Yes, sir. Uh, you're able to douse some of the flames off of it, but it's still on fire, but not nearly as bad. Uh, M? Mind you, I'm yeah. not actually using water. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, uh. I have, I might have what are you doing, Em? Uh, no, I tried the survival, but I got nine over yeah. Quincy's eight. So, you know, I am just, I'm just too flabbergasted by the fact that I just left them. And like, it's on fire. Uh, <laughs> um, hold on, I need to verify that I can actually do it. How long it takes me to make a thing. Um, it doesn't give for, me a time, a time for, for a replicate magic item. Uh, I think it's an action. For just a brief... T- for just a brief second, you hear from seemingly nowhere, pull the hammer back. Uh, does everyone hear that or just Tig? Just Tig. That's, okay. that's, uh, can I like talk back to it? Do I think it yeah. will respond? You can certainly try. Uh, who are you? Bro, you don't have time. Pull the hammer back. I uh, pull the hammer back. Pull the hammer back. The flames spiral off of the wagon and into the barrel of Roe. <laughs> oh, well, that is putting the fire what? out. That is. In- but I was working on it. The name of Crawford. Oh, I stop Crawford. and just walk off. Put that away. <laughs> are there uh, are there any of these people coming after us now that they've sh- actively shot at us? As you kind of get everything back on around and you look back over there. You don't see any more of the yellow eyes, but you do see a pole with what looks to be a humanoid t- tied to it that is on fire near the edge of the for- uh, near the edge of the jungle. Does this humanoid look like Lise? It's too hard to tell. It's over a quarter mm-hmm. mile. Yeah. <laughs> we are not okay. going that okay. way. Uh, I think you might have to go that way. Well, what does yeah, Lise say? Okay. Guys, um, guys. Quincy, you also realize that most of the rations that were on the back of the wagon have been burnt to a crisp. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, just getting guys, worse. Guys, hook up Pi to the wagon. She can pull it herself and get all of you on it. I'm gonna take Apple, and we're gonna see what that is. I'm coming with well, you. I'll come with you, Quincy. Take someone with you. I can only carry so much. Ma- Apple can only carry so many. Girl, can you carry uh, uh, Raph uh and who else uh, volunteered? Can't ghosts turn into a fox or something? Oh yeah, uh, you can be yeah, I, I don't yeah, think I they're can... bipedal. Hey, uh, quick question. Sorry for the DM. Is it nighttime still? It's about four o'clock in the morning. So dark vision is a problem. Yes. Uh. I am going. He maybe shouldn't be going. Nope, nope. I've, I've, I've got a solution for this because it takes an action, oh. so it doesn't take that much time. Uh, I can replicate magic item. I have replicate magic item for goggles of night. Uh, Tig quickly uh, makes goggles of night and hands them to Quincy. He's like, "You're not gonna be able to see shit if you don't take these. Go." Oh, uh, wow, thank you. Uh, he puts on the goggles and uh, uh, I guess pulls Wrath and Ghost on the back of his horse. Uh, sorry about this, uh, Apple. Yeah! And just tries to go towards uh, this burning person. Uh, Seeple uh, can wild shape into a dire wolf to carry another person. I would like to go with you. Uh, uh I, I would like to ride ride the, the, the tree ho- the tree wolf. Um, and so you, you all take off. Um, Aurora's, I guess, driving the wagon. Um, yes. as you all head back over there. Um, so... We'll start with uh, Quincy, Wrath and Ghost, and Ifrit and Seeple. You all arrive there, and you see there is a wicker person that is tethered to this pole that is on fire, and a amulet around the neck. But you're not able to make out the amulet, but what it is. How far away is it from me? Uh, now that you're all the way up here, you've made it all the way to the edge of the of the of the jungle. It's only about twenty feet away. You have like mage hand or something. Yeah. Quincy is going to I do. Uh, look around and try to see if he can spot enemy. Yeah, I'm I'm using mage hand to to grab that uh that that amulet off, and then I'm gonna say, hey guys, let's not go into the woods uh, where we know that there's 
Eight. I'm gonna have my dogs give me advantage. <laughs> Eleven. Oh yeah. There are no enemies that you can see in this area. Can M be watching out also and try a perception? Um, as soon as you get there with Aurora. Okay, right. We take a little bit because I'm on the wagon. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Working on it. Um, a little slower. Ifrin, you made you made you mage hand the uh, the, an the amulet off, and you can see that it is an amulet to the noble. Ooh. Shit. Hey, Quincy, you, you, you follow the noble, right? I did. I'm honestly on mm. the fence about that right now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mage hand that, that symbol over to you. Well, uh, looks like, uh, somebody else also did here. Unfortunately, uh, well, let's, I don't know if we have to go in here. If this is the direction we're actually supposed to be uh, going. Um, DM, as a die wolf, I've keen hearing and smell and have an advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing or smell. Can I use that to sense if there are other enemies around? You, yeah, I mean, pretty easily you don't you don't sense anything in this area. No, nothing, nothing besides the people that are here. Okay. And as the cart, as the wagon kind of pulls up, you all get this insane vertigo as it feels like the whole entire world gets turned upside down the ground kind of rumbles thick fog rolls in and then rolls back out as you all find yourselves standing in a jungle fully immersed in the actual jungle itself with the only thing nearby you a set of stone room and obsidian ziggurat maybe a hundred feet away from as soon as I see it, great! It's the it's that thing again. Trover, you know what this is? Yes, this is what I had to unlock, and I met Dendar, the Night Serpent, who we are trying yes, to. Yes, before I met all of you, I'm sorry. I had to stick my fingers in this to open it and turn like a clock, and then it foreboded that I'm not gonna really go into it. That I'm crazy, and then shit happened. And then I joined y'all. Well, and you didn't think now. this was pertinent information, Trover? Considering we're trying to... I to literally just met you! To be honest... We're please. on a mission! To f deal with hey, Dindar! Hey, 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 I don't no, see how hey, this is... I said in hey, the tavern hey, I met Dindar! Calm. Everybody calm down. Hey, a lot of us don't really know where we all came from. So we're not going to all know what information is actually pertinent, right? It's pertinent because the whole it's mission is dealing with know. Dendar. No, we knew that. Is going Terrible. to the moon. Easy, because we did mention in the beginning, <laughs> yeah. though, about the nightmares. Dendar. Look, I remember. I remember a ziggurat. Can you blame Slightly. Trover? You all the it's been time. a long forty-eight hours. Exactly. True. Well, I am Trover, we're here Trover. now. We're Trover. here. Wait. Trover, please take things slow. Kind of show us what you kind of did. Now that we're all in this. Let's see what we can figure out. This is a good thing. Uh, I walk up to it. Is it the same one that I had seen before? Well, it's about a hundred feet away. This so, is... do you want to walk all the way over there? Yeah, I walk uh, up. To it. <laughs> but before before we get any closer, I want to do another check for hidden enemies, and I'm gonna use my dogs to get advantage. Also, like to look around and change back into my fox form. I will follow. Uh, I will follow oh. Trevor. You very, 20. you very quickly notice that uh, you very quickly notice that your dogs are not there. Neither is Apple. Neither is Pie. Neither is the wagon. What? No. M, M's gonna. I'm just gonna like. I, I got a 19 for investigation. Is it the same one I had? Seen? Yes, it is the exact same one. This so, is... It, it is the one I had seen before, and all the stuff around us will disappear. Probably late saying that. And the only way out is through the obelisk. Gosh, through the obelisk? Dang it. Yeah, yeah. the last time there were three holes, and I look at, are the holes there? They are. You had to stick your fingers in the hole and turn them like a clock. Last time it was 12 o'clock. I don't know what it would be this time. There are images on here. A few of them reference Dendar. I don't know what the other ones are, what? because I'm not exactly the greatest study. I've, I've got a question. I've got a question for everybody. This just came. This just came to mind. He said clock and thing. Things kind of start clicking in my head. Does anybody else keep a journal? Uh, I do. No. Uh, 
Did you notice anything weird? Uh, yeah. Headaches? Uh, yeah. That I had a journal entry from the future that just suddenly disappeared. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Um, do you have any idea what this so could be warnings? Oh, be careful to stick your fingers and they will get stuck. Don't worry, I have lockpicks we We're can use. We're not gonna mess with no, the these are finger sh shape shape oh, right. but, No, guys. Before before we touch, let's kind of figure out where we're at right now. Remember we got where for a reason. the crystals are? Sort of trying in. in in the ziggurat. We have to deal what, with the one ziggurat. One of them is in a golden ziggurat, yes. But this is an obsidian I, I have ziggurat. a feeling the only way we can leave here is through here. That's what happened last time, and Gulp is the one that woke me up. The third lizard I told you about him. Did anybody else hear that? I heard that. Did it? Did it? Did anybody else? Did, 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 did we hear it? Yeah. Uh, DM, I'm still a dire wolf, and I will be for an hour, because I don't want to end it soon, just in case we get attacked. So, <laughs> as a dire wolf, I'm just going to be on alert, and I will bark if I see any danger. You don't really see anything besides the the ferns around you, the trees, and the ziggurat. Has anybody been feeling super dizzy? I did a few seconds ago, before I saw this thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pointing I, at you know, the ziggurat. Time for the army. You know we can hear you, you can stop repeating yourself. Okay, but can we hear it? Or is it just Trover? You can all hear it. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay. We should move fast um, then. Okay, wait. okay. Yeah, okay. So we, the um, only no, way I got you'll... out of this last time was through this door, but somebody has to stick their fingers in because it's a finger-sized hole, each one of them. I'm gonna okay, take off but... my- I'm gonna use my, my prosthetic hand, I'm gonna stick them in the hole, and I'm gonna do the- uh, I show you, try show you we, how- We shouldn't be- We're, yeah. we're hieroglyphic. Yeah. We shouldn't be messing with this. So you, you, you stick your hand in there, and you rotate it right or left. I, I would like to look for any kind of markings before, like, I just kind of leave my hand in position, ready well, for I, it, I and then I go where around the, the notches were the last time. Yeah. Here's where the, the, the first notch is, and I, I turned it right, if I remember correctly. I, I'm having issues remembering things. Hold on. Yeah. It, it looks like a clock. Kind, kind of. of. Like a, kind of like a timer? Yeah, it, it stopped at 12 o'clock before it opened, and I had my pointer finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger in the holes. And you all probably noticed oh. Trover is rubbing his hands together and he's slightly smiling. Can I? I'm gonna. I'm can I insight? Can I insight yeah. check? Yeah. <laughs> I, I do not like yeah. that he's smiling. I do not I, care for that. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I would like to make sure that. I'm uh, at 20. Sort of dial. Well, that's a 22. Wow. <laughs> Why is Trover smiling? Trover is smiling because this is something he does when he gets excited, and he does not have any idea why. But why is Trover excited about this is what I'm wondering. That's know. the thing. I don't know right now. He's just, mm. He just feels excited. Oh. Ooh. And, and he, he, I noticed that you're looking. Last time I did this, I, I don't know. I feel adrenaline going through me right now. And I'm... I want to know what's going through here, but last time I opened this, there were purple stairs that turned into Dindar the Night Serpent. So we Which way did be you turn it? So we definitely Which way did you I walked turn it? for a long period of time. Which way did you turn it? First, if I remember it was right, then it was left, then it was right. DM. But let me see if I can see remember. There, you see that there is um there are three symbols that are illuminated near the clock face. One is the symbol of Dendar, the other the symbol of Solus, and the last a swirling storm. So that's probably the Azadeh, I would guess. And it's not the Azadeh symbol. It's not Maybe the it's Azadeh. the Tempest? That's the Tempest, I believe. How do I? Oh yeah, the monks, never mind. Well, I reckon I, that, that's, a, that's a symbol of Solus, right? In the middle there, I think I would agree with uh, with Raph on this one. That one seems. It, like I, it's I, I remember one was five o'clock and the other was twelve. I don't remember the third. Well, there's only one way to find out. No, we no, could maybe, maybe we should. Kind of. The only way I left 
this, and I point to the area where nothing is, was through here. That does so I think the only way out is through, and I hate the analogy. Would I be able to see any kind of other other little hints while I'm doing one last took before I, you know, flip it to that weird symbol? Make a perception check. All right. This is my my, my last little bit. Uh, DM, can I help in That's that? That's a I, oh. I, as a dowel, will kind of like yeah, approach and like sniff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I still got a ten. You said so it helps. You get advantage. So you get to roll again if yeah. You... Oh, I got it then. Um. So the only thing that you really notice is that there's no birds. There's no bugs. There's no chirping. There's no sounds of animals at all, or insects or anything. Other than the sounds that we make ourselves. Do Do what? I notice him noticing this? Is it? Yeah. No, not yet. Guys, there's no sound. DM. Um, this was, this wait, is what happened y'all, last time. Uh, y'all, Emma's been trying to get a word in for a while. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to confirm, when we came into this area, there's the Zagarot, and you said that there were a few stone things standing up, like obelisks, or uh, something there, around. There's like, there's like uh, stone ruins. Yeah, and and then the and then the obsidian obelisk and this obsidian ziggurat. Are there any like hieroglyphics? Are there anything else like written or inscribed or anything anywhere aside from these three symbols that are glowing? Uh, are you checking the obsidian ziggurat or the ruins? Uh, the ruins. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Investigation, investigating. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> Twenty. Uh, yeah, you do actually find a etched rune on one of the ruins um, it is very similar to the one that is carved with the swirling storm on it um, and next to it in common is the number three okay cool uh, okay guys I think before we start turning a hand random ways for a thing that involves gods and like serpents of creation maybe we should stop yeah we shouldn't be messing Uh, with this at all but i if we are gonna weird swirly thing is the third one Ooh, it's number three so that means okay so this is a combination lock all right that is a lot more interesting can i i would like to try to find number one so if i remember correctly it was five twelve and three then because i couldn't remember the third one Trover. Well, let's 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 confirm. Trover, when you did this the first time in your dream, how do you know this was the only way through? Did you try to just, I don't know, leave the area? No, I was drawn to it, and I could, I could, I felt cool to it, and I was doing, and he's still rubbing his hands, smiling, doing this. Very frustrated that he's doing it, but he can't stop. Trover. Why don't you turn around and just the question try to is, walk away? That's the million dollar question, right? Is can we just leave if we don't want to fuck with this thing? Uh, do you, Trover, do, do you, you try to turn around and walk away? No. My curiosity and excitement has me standing there right next to Ifrin, eyes wide. Okay. Ifrin is slightly giggling, giggling to does. myself. Again, with the most confused look on my face. I'm joining him with a with a smug grin on my face. I'll turn around and walk away and see what happens. Okay. Uh, so turn around and try to walk away, and you reach to the um, clearing of the of the jungle. Um, can you want me a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, fifteen. That'll be a failure. Uh, as you fall through oh. grass floor in a trap, and you you feel yourself hit the bottom of the floor, bamboo stakes going through you as you take fifteen piercing damage. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Tig is running and pulling rope out of her back. Yeah, I, I try to help cut them out. <laughs> Get ghosted um, out. This the hurts. People's gonna follow. How far down is the pit? Uh, it's about thirty feet deep. Ooh, that's a deep. Yeah. Before Seems you start good. running off, I hold out fifty feet of rope. Here, take wait, this. It's wait. fifty feet. I already have. I already have. But thank All you. Right, I'll put it back. Hold in my on. Bag. Be careful, because there might be traps. 
just careful. The seaball's gonna go on ahead and sniff around for more traps. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, investigation check. If you don't mind, Seaball. Two. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Finally, more. As um, Tig, you go to bring your uh, your rope out and help him out. Mm-hmm. You hear. God, right now. Uh, I do. And you feel an arrow go whizzing right past your face, and it sinks right into Trover's middle middle section. Oh, I've been impaled. Um, sorry. And seems like it. That'll be that'll be seven points of piercing damage to Trover. Okay, so I'm gonna and hurry up on this. Not gonna lie, this hurts. Oh, yeah. And um, roll, do I pull roll it roll out? Uh, roll for initiative. Oh, God. I gotta roll initiative in a pit. <laughs> Well, you rolled the right initiative for being in a pit. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, I don't roll over a 10. It's okay. You don't? Like it's impossible? Yeah. I just just rolled another 10. Solidly. My magic's gonna be hard. Oh, there it is. And Trover, your internet keeps us in suspense. It's truly the best. (laughs) Just like, hmm. (laughs) What Mm. shall it be? It's a Law and Order theme playing while he does it. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, like, on my phone, I can't find investigation, but on the computer, I can. Investigation for me is always Weird. one of the hardest, even though it's, like, the last die one, and I don't know why. For me, it, like, it just disappears. That's the one your your brain just floats over. It's like, nope. I'm also upset yeah. I didn't check for traps. <laughs> you got your initiative trophy? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. I got the <laughs> four. Just get him so I'm standing there just pointing at the thing going, I've been impaled. <laughs> like, guys, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. We're in danger. Wait, do you think I could disagree with this with alcohol? Or will it come not out with when your I alcohol? I'm pretty sure the black strap is not a disinfecting alcohol. No, there's too much sugar well, in that from molasses the molasses. and alcohol, so it should work. I don't think molasses is molasses a Molasses is, is, is not. It's super gonna infect it. <laughs> but it's sticky, so it should heat seal it. I, uh, I just well just not. Don't worry, it's on fire. It's automatically cauterized. There you go. But uh, it didn't say the arrow was on fire. Nah, this arrow didn't say it was on fire. This Anyways. was not on fire. Never mind. Quincy, you're up. Uh, do I see who fired the arrow? Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, I do have my goggles of, I do have the goggles of night still. Uh, 23. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you do see that there are two, uh, two Yanti and a Yanti Malison that are working their way towards you. How far away are they? Uh, about 100 feet. I will walk 20 feet closer, avo- walking around the pit trap. Okay. Um, and I will... It seems like a fight is unavoidable at this point, right? Like, yeah, they shot first. Okay. Um, I am going to fire a shot at, um, I guess the, yeah, uh, uh, I guess one of the, uh, yeah, uh, 14 to the non-malice. Okay, that'll hit. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, 12 damage. Okay. As you fire the, fire the shot and... It uh, hits its mark right in the right right below the collarbone, uh, and she kind of reels back. Can't really hear anything that she's saying, but you can definitely tell that she's pretty banged up from that shot. Uh, I shout over to them. We can uh, you can just walk away, and this can be over. And and I'll end my turn. All right, M, you're up. Um, I actually want to see if I can go and investigate for more of the symbols and numbers. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Ooh, nat 20, 22. Oh. You find the other two symbols. You find um, Dendar's symbol, which is next to the number one. And you find Jormungandr's symbol. Oh, sorry, oh, Solus' yeah. symbol. Solus' <laughs> like, symbol, whoa. which is uh, next to the number two. Okay. Combination cool. one, two, three. <laughs> Yo, we don't know where they are on the circle of Loki's. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, anyways, that's my turn. Or I'm gonna yell to Ifrin, and, or can I yell those out to Ifrin? Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Alright. 
Efren. Dendar Solus Swirly Thing. One, two, three. And leave it at that. And Tig, that'll bring us up to you. As you hear, it's time. <laughs> Let him have it. Let him have it. I just messaged you something, and I would like the uh, answer to you. With 30 feet of movement to your left, you could get the Malison and the Pure Blood in line. Uh, f- fucking send it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna listen to the gun. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna uh, need uh, a dexterity saving throw from those two. So the Malison is going to be a 21. And the pure blood is going to a six. Blood is going to take a lot of damage, and the malison is also going to take a lot of damage. Uh, pardon um, me, Willie. You see <laughs> sw- swirling red and black energy come out of row, wrap all the way around Tig's arm, and you see that Tig's horns erupt in black flame as she fires the <laughs> shot. That's going to be st- 65 points of damage what? to the oh one that failed Oh my god! Life in the sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> and Are you half? Saying I'm in a pit? I am not joking. <laughs> Remember when I said that my gun is a hell gun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that it got a lot yeah. worse after uh-huh. after last session. Uh huh. <laughs> and then half damage for the one that did pass, which yep. is 32. Yep. So you see. You see that uh, the one that uh, failed the, the pure blood just completely overwhelmed by necrotic and, uh, <laughs> and the as the fl- as the black flames start to dissipate, um, your your horns still are coated and elongated in this black flame. Uh, the Malison still stand very right. very. Very banged up, but still stand. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use my object interaction to make sure that this rope is down where Ghost can get it. Okay. Let's see, Roland. And that's that's it. Quincy, insight right. take. And <laughs> on your turn, sure. Wrap you up. Um, okay. So mm-hmm. the rope is down to get Ghost, correct? Correct. Like that's that's down there. How far away yeah. is Ghost from where I am now? Uh, about 15 feet. and Well, 15, 15 feet to the feet. hole, and then 30 feet down into the hole. Okay, so he's still down there. Um, all right, uh, so this is what I'd like to do. I would like to run over to the hole, um, and I'd like to hold my... Uh, I have an amulet of solace, and I'd like to hold that up towards the Yuan Chi and just go, Pray Solace! Pray Solus, and I'd like to just sort of, like, really emphasize it. While I'm doing that, I'd like to cast Shield of Faith on Trover, um, because that has a 60-foot range. Um, And I'd like to prepare an action to cast Lay on Hands uh, on um, on uh, on on Ghost when once Ghost is in range of touch. Okay. So, so you like, the idea, yeah, it's lifting it up, and then the energy sort of illuminates from it, casting Shield of Faith, just to show that there's, like, a faith connection there. And, and as you do, as, as, that, as that happens, you see them kind of recoil for just a moment as this kind of, like, red tinge to your skin kind of erupts along your veins, and it does not burn. But you can definitely see it leaving its mark. Okay. Um... And the Yanti reel back for a second and then press forward. Fuck. Damn it. All right. And that'll bring us to Seeple. Okay. So, I am Wolf. My movement is 50 <laughs> feet. Are you there? Uh, um, you said they were 100 feet away? Correct. Hmm. How much has to I have? I have 37 dash, health. With the dash action, you could get all the way to them. True, but then I can't yeah. attack. I won't be able to attack anyways. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll move all the way to them, so at least when one of them attack, they'll certainly be attacking me and no one else. Uh, can you make me dexterity saving throw, please? Fuck, okay. 17. 
Um, so you narrowly dodge to the right and avoid falling into another spike pit trap. But you are also only 10 feet away from them now, as the spike pit, tra- uh, pit trap was right in front of them, and they kind of stop in their tracks as well. Okay, that's and my then, turn. And then that'll bring us up to Ifrin. Well, with a combination firmly told to me, is it like a combination lock where I'm going to have to like circle back around, or is it just like hit one, two, and three? You have no idea. Is there any specific shape that uh, those uh, those little rune markings where she found the uh, uh, the notes were? Uh, is there any specific shape to them, or no, there was no inclination as to whether it should be right, left, right, or right, right, right? Or mm-hmm. what's the what's the dial set at right now? The dial is currently set. Um, at the upwards position to Dendar. At the 3 o'clock position, there is Solus, and at the 5 o'clock position, there is the Swirling Storm. Now, would I remember correctly which way I turned? Um, I'm gonna say no. Okay, just figured because as Trover, I didn't put it there because he wasn't exactly paying attention. Hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the right order to do it. Uh, six, six seconds, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna start going. I'm gonna start with the uh, freaking hitting, turning right first. Okay. <laughs> and with that, we'll come around to your next turn. All right. All right. Uh, Ghost, you're up. I am absolutely terrified. So I'm going to grab the rope. Uh, actually, how much space is there in between me and the spikes? Uh, you were impaled on the spikes. Still. Um, are they kind of clustered together, or is there, like, space in between them? There, so there's, like, two to three. So, like, one, one right now is currently going through your left shoulder and all the way out, about about a foot out. And the other one is going through your your right side where the, um, where the lower part of the stomach is, entering the back and out the stomach, right above your hip bone. And the third one that's impaled on you is going through your calf and out your shin. And you can tell that it broke your shin bone as well. My heart is telling me I'm going to die if I try and pull myself off these spikes. Can I just reach up and grab the rope and have somebody just pull me? Oh, no, no, because then I'll go unconscious and fall back down. Shit. You could tie the rope to right. the, or around your arm. Yeah, do that. Then yeah, that's actually... Push you out. Yeah, you know what? That's the power play. I'm just gonna tie the rope around my arm and hang right. tight, I guess. That'll be the end of your turn. So that brings us to the Malice, who is going to fire his bow at Quincy. Okay. Two attacks. First one is a 23 to hit. That'll hit. And the second mm. one is a 14 to that hit. That misses. Okay. Uh, as he fires the arrow at you, that is going to be eight piercing damage. Okay. And I need you to make a, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw, please. I think, ooh, uh, eighteen. Beyond two. Okay. And that's going to be three poison damage because it was six half. Nice. Ah, ow. Um, as arrow sinks right into right right into your um, right in the center of your chest, it doesn't dig deep enough to pierce the heart or anything like that, but you can definitely feel the poison coursing through your veins e- now. He clenches and pulls it out and just drops it. And that'll bring us to Trover. I'm just sitting there staring at the the, uh, thing I've been impaled by. Do I pull it out and heal myself with a potion? What do I do? Uh, Up to you, man. So I just grab on and pull the thing out. And then uh, can I use my bonus action to quickly heal myself? Um, so yeah, so I would I would say that uses the rest of your the rest of your turn. Okay, just figured I'd ask. So I yank yep. the thing out, <laughs> going, "Ow, oh, that hurt!" Still holding it in my hand. Okay, what next? Um, and that'll bring us to Aurora. Oh no! Oh. She actively already vomited. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I try to cover myself up as best as I can. Sorry, Aurora. She runs over to the edge of the of the uh, the pit trap where 
Ghost is, and she's going to cast Tensor's Floating Disc underneath Ghost, lifting him up and out of the oh, hole. Oh, nice! Can I can I use my prepared action to do Lay on Hands then, as Ghost goes? Yeah, uh, yeah as Ghost goes by. All right, yeah, I do that. How much? How much? Actually, I'll do I'll do five HP. Um, I like I I like grab onto Ghost's arm as he goes by, and I just go. God, it hurts. <laughs> and I. <laughs> You're and telling I, me, brother. You get five HP. <laughs> it is so right. funny when a healer yeah. hurts himself healing. <laughs> uh huh. It's so good. It's very. It's so good. Raph loves it. I it hurts so good. <laughs> having such a good time. My veins are red, and now my hands are burned. Woo! Good day. Um, and then there. That is going to bring us to the next Yanti. The last of the Yanti, um, who is going to see Ghost come out of the hole and fire directly at Ghost. Come that on, man! I just healed him. That hits. Uh, fuck! Right. Ghost be prone. That's going to be uh, no, because he was lifted oh, up. Okay. With the tensor's floating All disc, right. uh, so he's still technically on the disc. Um, so that is going to be seven piercing damage, and I need you to roll a Constitution saving throw. Please. You are so evil. Fourteen. No, I gave a. You gave. We're doing math in the live chat. So true. Math. You, you gave five, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. Yeah. You gave I, five. I gave five. Yeah. I was at four. <laughs> went to nine. Took seven. Back to two. And, and then, now I, I have a fourteen for a Constitution saving. Th- no, I was at four. That's where my confusion was. Got it. And that's going to be seven poison damage. All right. Unconscious Help baby. The shot. God damn it. I got him. And you got him. That's going to be okay. the second attack. Now is going to fire at Quincy. Fuck. That is a five to hit. As an arrow misses wildly. <laughs> Bless. I deflect Thank it with my arm. Thanks, Thanks Solus. Solus. <laughs> uh, and that brings us up to you, Quincy. Okay. You're up. Um. So there's the one living Yonti and the Malison, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, which one looks more hurt? Uh, they're about on equal footing. You say that they'd say that they've been withered to about half of their normal fighting capability. Okay. Um. Well, the uh the archer is probably actually giving us more trouble than the Malison at the moment. So I'm going to action surge, so I get two attacks, and I'm going to spend two grit okay. points to get uh for dead eye shot to give myself advantage on my next two attack rolls against uh this Yuan T. Grit points, okay. baby. Uh, twenty four to hit. That'll or... Hit. For six damage. Okay. Still up? Still up. Okay, one more. Ten. Hit. That'll miss. So. As you fire one shot, fire another shot, and the first one hits its mark. You see her kind of reel once again in agony and get ready to fire another shot at you um, as, as the second shot wildly miss. Uh, dang it. Uh, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right. And that'll bring us up to M. All right. Um... Do I do? Do I go? Now, Ifrin, is your hand still attached to you, or is your hand just in the holes, separate? It right now, it's it's in the hole. I'm actively, you know, cranking it to make it move. Um, well, j- but it can't like it's it's not be fully attached. My arm was attached, and it did nothing to me, so it shouldn't do anything. Hopefully, no, I mean, I can. I, I mean, I can. I'm using my right arm, so I can detach at any point in time and and start doing other things while this well, while my hand is still here. What my curiosity is is, can I go over and make the second turn of his hand for him? No. <laughs> no, because it, 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 it would. Yeah. Look, I'm being creative. Can't, you can't, you can't blame you us can't for trying. Hold his hand again. <laughs> Green is not a creative color. I get it. Uh, <laughs> not a creative. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I tried, okay? Uh, then I'm going to go over to... What do I do? I guess I'm gonna shoot something with my short bow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna aim at the uh, other archer. Okay, so the Malison? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna aim at him and do a little... Uh... Oh, yeah. Does 24 hit? Yeah, that'll hit. Wonderful. Five damage. All right. He sinks right into his uh, lower half where you can see the snake tail um, kind of start to form into legs. It's like a weird 
fade into the legs. Um, oh. and you hit him right at that section, and he kind of just winces at it. Nice. And that'll bring us up to Tig. Hi. You know that uh, Ro is still smoking from that shot you took. Yeah, uh, Tig's gonna try and uh, shoot Ro, um, but it's just gonna click because yep. I can't use it for a minute. Um, yep. <laughs> Uh, so I am going to go to Ghost and cast Cure Wounds. Um, okay. Just go, Ghost, you better wake up! <laughs> That's only five, but it'll bring you back. That is my, uh, moderately useful turn. Okay. And that'll bring us to Raph. Alright, um, I'm still holding this amulet up. Um, which one, yeah. the Malison or the Pure Blood, looks the least injured? Uh, that'd probably be the pure blood you'd have to guess. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to hold the amulet. I'm, like, not close enough to do, to, like, engage in melee. Um, mm-hmm. so I don't think that attacking is important, but I'd like to hold up my amulet, uh, and I'd like to cast command on the pure blood. Okay. Um, and I'd like to say, grovel. Because, actually, before I do that, before I do that, um, is... You said that this pit opened up right at the feet of the of the auntie. Yes, correct. Okay, then I'm casting command. The command word is grovel, which the target falls prone and then ends its turn. And I would like to try when he falls down. I, I'm hoping this might work that he that the prebred falls into the pit. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna first make that saving throw against the command. Yeah. Which is a wisdom saving throw, correct? Wisdom save, yeah. DC 13. That'll be a 4. So that's not, I, not Fuck yeah, fast. okay. And then he's going to make a DC 12 saving throw against falling into the pit. Sick. Which he fails. <laughs> Fuck so, yeah! And yes! as the pure blood fall face first into the pit, and you do not hear any more from the pure blood after that. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that worked. Uh, um, and then, uh, I don't have any. I, I don't have a bonus action that I can really use. Um, Tig said, "I t- uh, did Tig cure Ghost yet? Sorry. Yeah, Ghost is up. Yeah, they don't okay, have a ton I'd like of to, hit points, but they're up. I'd like to run back over to the Ziggurat and attempt to help out with whatever's going on with these dials. I'd just like to okay. position myself for that. Okay. And that'll bring us. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. So I'm, I'm ten feet away from. Which of the Yanti again? Uh, there's only one Yanti that's left, and that's the Malison. And you are only 10 feet away. In that case, I'm going to go on ahead and bite it. Um, okay. I'll just figure it out now. So it's a plus 5 to hit, so do I just roll a d20 and add 5? Like yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That's a 6. For a total of... For a total oh, of no, one? that's a total of 6. Oh. Uh, yeah, that uh-huh. Is there anything else you're doing with your turn? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Okay, uh, that'll bring us up to Ifrin. Well, I'm gonna continue uh, continue the path I have chosen by going right and then you know going left. Uh, pretty much, I'm turning. I'm doing the uh, doing making this a combination lock. That's the, uh, the that's what uh, feels most natural. So I'm gonna go with it. All right, and that'll bring us up to Ghost. So I'm gonna sit up, and as I sit up. I'm gonna put my like start rubbing my head and say, "Arson's gonna laugh at me so hard for this." And how far away is the uh, UNT? From where you are, about about fifty feet. All right, I'm gonna stand up. That's an action, isn't it? Yeah. That's, okay, that's cool. Half your, that'll, that'll be half your movement, so you have fifteen feet of movement still. Excellent. I'm just gonna take my dagger and I'm just gonna throw it at it. Okay. Roll to hit. Synthetic 20. That'll hit. Uh, and you get sneak attack because of Seeple right now. Yes. Because. Oh. Because yeah. the Yanti is technically flanked right now. Hell yeah. What's sneak attack damage? It's like an extra. D6 at this point. 1d6. Alright, so the dagger damage is 8, and then sneak attack is 6 for a total of. 14. 14. As you throw that dagger and you see it go right into his left eye Ooh. and you see him start to start to get ready to move away as it brings up to his turn 
He runs towards the opposite direction. Would Seeple get an opportunity attack? Yes. Seeple, go ahead if you'd like to take an opportunity attack. That's a nine total. Dang. That will not hit. Dang it. Um, as the Yanti Mountain retreats off into the jungle. And that'll be the end of combat. Well, and what are you guys doing now? How how am I doing with this with this uh with this dial? Is it, so is it Yep, you got it on the second position. You turning it over to that last position? Yeah, I'm turning it to the last position. As you turn it over to the last position, the ziggurat doors open and you can see that there is a black empty hall. Or at least maybe it is empty or it's or it's just dark, you can't really tell. Does, does hey. it look like it did for me. No, it does not. Yeah, hey, this thing looks. Okay, huge. that's different. I, I I take a look on the outside of it. Is it just like this small kind of or this like yeah, you know I mean, kind of tall ziggurat? But yeah, I mean, it it looks to be like maybe eighty foot tall, probably about a hundred feet back. But when it comes time to like actually looking in the doorway, you don't see any walls. You don't see a roof. All you see is just blackness all the way through. Hey, this thing's this thing's probably super big. Um, can I All cast right, Divine yeah. Sense um, as sure. these doors open? Detect good and evil, Celestial Fiend, uh, other things, undead within 60 feet. Um, anything affected by the Hallow spell also. Yep. Consecrated or desecrated ground. So, yep. You immediately get that primordial sense of the serpents as, as Palinir, because they're... they're energy is different than celestial it's different than the demons it's this older more ancient energy and this entire ziggurat reeks of it on top is this, of that is this, yeah can you on top of that you're able to actually divine that it feels extremely similar to the cave uh, okay hey y'all um this feels mighty similar to the cave that we were in uh i'm i'm I don't, it's, it, this is definitely serpent related. Makes sense, Dandar uh, and Solus and all that. But this this feels like the cave. I don't know how we want to respond to that. I closed in the door and Wait, not no, going uh, in. What, what I, I think that's the only way through is in here. Because you see what no, you. No! Did anybody else hear that? No! Because last time we tried to leave, we had one person get impaled, another one get shot. I've been impaled. We really need to figure something out. And Trover's kind of getting flustered trying to figure out how badly damaged he is. And when he pulls open his shirt, you can see a scar going from his left shoulder disappearing onto his shirt. And in the middle is a tattoo right through the scar going right through it. You guys can see that Aurora is throwing up near the base of a tree right now. Uh, Man, what's the tattoo of? It is a sparrow above water with a very crude drawing of the uh, storm serpent biting its own tail. I'll post it in live chat. Uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna lay in the grass for a couple of seconds uh... and just kind of regather. Quincy will hand the knife that Ghost gave him back to Ghost and say yeah you'll need this right now more than me. Uh... Thank you. Hi. Oh. Poor ghost. Quincy, you hear very faintly, I can help. Okay, I don't need any of your help, you idiot sword. I used you three times, and you failed all three things <laughs> I gave you to do. Because this stake here is a little lopsided, and that's your fault. Quincy, so, does Quincy say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Quincy, are you okay, bud? You? Uh... Everybody looks at me weird for talking this yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's the stupid, it's, it's the, the stupid evil sword Raph wants me to hold on to. I, uh, you held I on know. to that for five years? Well, it was like five years condensed into a day. Uh, it's a little complicated. Uh, okay. I would like to pull out that that little glass vial I had from from earlier. Is it still there? It is. Hmm. All right, put it. Go ahead yeah. and put it back. Can I go up to the entry of this dark nothing and, um, I don't know, can I do something along the lines of 
a history check of if I've read anything about this in the library? Sure, sure. give me a history check. Ooh, nat 20, 24. Uh, wow. Yes, actually, this supposedly a ziggurat that is connected to the endless cavern that is the Maw. Specifically, the nest of Dendar. Shouldn't stand. Like I said, last what? time I went in, I met Dendar, and then afterwards I came back to senses with gulp licking my face. So, so I think that's the only way out. Is I grab this cave. Yeah. Uh, and I I'm grab packing the wound as best I can with bits of my shirt that I have Frankly, Trover, off. this I mean, does not seem safe. I, I do not trust you. No, it doesn't, but it's the only way. I think, Trover, I think, Trover uh, get, come here. Come here real quick. I'll Can I, like, not spend lay on hands, but, like, use the warmth of that divine energy to cauterize the wound? Sure. I'd do that. It hurts. Raph winces. Um, but I sort of cauterize the wound and kind of pull that. To be fair, that. it also probably hurts for Trover. <laughs> it's a bad yeah. time for all. I pull, Trover's I pull not the making a face out. at all. He's just looking at it, watching it sizzle, kind of smiling. Just, it's, it's literally sizzling. Oh, right. and Raph sort of puts a hand on your shoulder and is like, You good? A little better? It, it no feels better, I'm still saying we should go through here. I, I think, think we should go way. in. Um, I'm going to drink I mean, my health potion. <laughs> Seems good choices. Seems reasonable. I, I do the same to give me my health points back. So are we going yeah, in the cave? Time. I just, can, I think... Can I insight this weird uh, well, voice? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and listen to what it says, because they don't really see another way out of this situation. It also uh, hasn't lied to us yet. I go ahead and uh, uh, It seems like the, the voice coming from the trees is generally concerned for you. We should go in. I got a 14. Right. Yes, uh, listen to one serpent recently. Tro Trover's just now inside the door. Alright, let's go. Uh, Steve was um, gonna follow suit very closely behind. Yeah, uh, DM, behind. how long... How long left do I have of um, wild shape? It lasts an, lasts an hour, this particular one. Uh, you, you still have another 45 minutes. Um, okay. Oh, if yeah, I'm correct, it's going to get incredibly dark in here. And it's going to be a while before we get to where I met Pindar the last time. So I don't know how long you have. Hey, I, right, don't that... That... I don't mean to be that Go ahead. Are we gonna... Are we going to be close enough soon? Yeah. No um, give me a perception check, all of you, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, awesome. that about the healing is that a... Oh, that was the oh nat one. twenty for twenty-five. Eleven. Nice. Is the perception check <laughs> oh affected my God. by your Sorry, ability to see in the, the dark? Goggles. D and D Beyond just uh just rolled um just rolled on its side. That's so funny. It like rolled like on the line. <laughs> it, it, it was cocked. D and D Beyond was cocked. That's so <laughs> rolled good. Rolled the cocked die. Uh, DM, does the perception check, is it dependent upon, uh, uh, ability to have dark visions? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So I assume. I rolled a five. Also, does my leg heal up from the healing potion? It does. Alright, cool. So the, 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 the shattered, the shattered, um, shin bone kind of resets itself. I rolled a three. Uh, so, Quincy, you're the only one that notices as you guys kind of, like, walk towards this thing. My 18 uh, does nothing? Turn around. No. Uh, Damn. You turn around. And um, as you guys kind of walk in there and Aurora right behind you all, um, you see very, very faintly, very quickly, it looks to be all of you guys entering the jungle area. Oh. As no. the door's closed. Oh, no. Oh, God no. Damn it. Us. Uh, I fucking knew it. It didn't say anything yet, but he will call Ifrin over. I don't know anybody who... Did we all see that, or just, just one person? Quincy. No, just, just, just one Quincy. person. And, oh. and, and as you guys are all sitting there, surrounded in darkness, there's no light here at all. So, I have more visitors. <laughs> Tell me, why do you come for the night seven? Hello again! <laughs> and how are you, my dear? 
Have you reminisced over our last conversation? Not exactly. I kind of kept it out of my mind. Yes, you have a, a tendency to do that. Uh, you mind if uh, anybody else ask you a question? Oh, you can ask me all the questions you'd like. Why'd you bring us here? And where do you mean by here? I have brought you nowhere. Your own feet did that for uh, no, guided, so then. I mean, I maybe wish. this is confusing. To simply ask you to hear this next statement. That is. Do all. you mind if we can see your eyes so we can actually have a little bit of light? Sure. As you notice that the entire room gets filled with purple energy, as you see this giant, absolutely massive snake that is currently coiled all around you guys, creating this 20 foot radius circle in the center and she is just kind of reeled back as you can see that she's got this massive cobra head looking at you guys nice to see you again in face to face you are a serpent right i I am dendar the night serpent i kind of immediately get into my book and start writing everything I see down. This is fascinating. I have only the request that you hear what I have to say, and then I will let you be on your way. A reasonable request. Okay. Uh, I can't speak for all of us, but what's the request? I can listen. Liars and deceivers have twisted my dogma. They have pretended that I do things that I do not. They have besmirched my name, making me out to be a villain. I want you to ask yourself why would they want to imprison me? What do they gain from it? They said something about sealing away nightmares, if I believe. If you're imprisoned, would that mean that night doesn't exist? That's that what I'm wondering. That is correct. Those fucking oh, shit. Bane bitches. No night means no undead moving around very much. Also, yeah, that, no that one seems to like a problem for me. The nightmares. I no one what? to Sorry, eat the I nightmares is what ma'am. they said. Oh. Now, and if no one eats the nightmares, what happens? Our chance. World gets overflowing with them. They the become monsters real in the dreamscape. Yep. And oh, then they come yeah. out. Thank you. This has all been very, very informative. I roll an insight check on. I would also uh, like to roll insight. You guys are gonna try and insight a serpent god? Can't hurt to try. They're literally tied to the concepts of reality. Oh, uh, twenty-two. Everything seems above board. Uh, <laughs> it's like okay, man. Maybe you can insight. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a seven. <laughs> yeah, everything seems above board. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> seems pretty right to me. Checks out. Um, Miss Dandar, ma'am. Um, if you you say that there would be no night, correct? And it would just be sun? That is correct, little light. So, what you're saying is that it would be entirely Solus's domain. That is correct. He is my brother. We balance each other. Mm-hmm. Do, do you, you know think your of brother... any being that... Sorry. No, I'm sorry, Rath. Do you, do you know of any any being that would desire your power? There is one, but we do not speak her name. Mm. I yeah, I think we've we've met her. You we met know her crazy name. Lady in the hey. Yeah. Don't say don't say it because that yeah, scares don't me. Say the name. But well, I'm just gonna refer to her as the crazy the lady in the. I will give you this one bit of information before I send you on your way. The person or being that you should be most worried about. Her machinations. She still exists in a sleeping state in the ever ending storm. And she is closer to you all than you realize. More than ever take there, we're heading that way. Who knows if they've actually made it. Fair, you still gotta but... warn him, though. Can I ask? 
be mindful of my sister and her power. As you all start spinning. Hey, 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 wait. I wanted to ask for one thing. (laughs) And with that, Quincy, you find yourself riding the wagon, kind of just having this weird deja vu as you ride into into town. The brain's still kind of swimming, still kind of spiraling as you ride into town. You look around, and for a second, it takes you to get your thoughts straight, and you see that you are now pulling into Alabaster. You're pretty sure you fell asleep at the wheel, but you're you're not entirely sure. Do I remember everything that happened? Oh, uh, yeah. It was a pretty terrifying dream with that hole in the jungle and everything. Wait, uh, can I... Do I have any idea? <sighs> is this... Can I tell if this is like weird time shenanigans or or if this has something to do with the fact that Dendar is like the night serpent and like can control can Dendar control dreams? You're sitting there like kind of trying to go down this rabbit hole of thought uh, and you're pulling into town. You see that uh, two of the halflings come out of the come out of the bar near you. It says, hey, you're just in time. Tacos are for time and days, yeah? Or time and days are for tacos. Woohoo, tacos! And that's where we end tonight's session. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my damn god. It. Hell in a cell, just. Uh, at god least damn. we're in a cell. Next session, I gotta check my oh, arm. Did I. Do I. I took off the bullets that I used in that combat. Do I not have.